Right, it's Lagos Talks 91.3. This is still the live drive with Michelle. I am Michelle Lago. And today we'll be talking about skin bleaching on children. We have a guest who's joining us on the show. Her name is Zueira Ikaro Shuab. She is the founder of Amal Botanicals. Hello. Good Hi, evening. Michelle. Good Hi. evening. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Same here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, skin bleaching in children, skin bleaching on children. Um, I hear about it, but I don't know so much about it. I don't even know if it's real or if it's just something you just hear. Is it real? Do people actually bleach children? It is real, especially in Africa. It is very real. Wow. We have mothers who do that. And some of them even start as early as um, when the baby is pregnant. They take all sorts. Oh. Yes. When, you when say- the mom is pregnant, when the baby is still in. Yeah. They take all sorts of tablets, injections, just to ensure that the baby comes out looking very, very fair. People take medicines, take yes. pills to yes, they do that. bleach the baby while in the womb? Yes. Okay, that, now that is extreme. <laughs> Why, why do they do that? Have you examined it? Have you interrogated why they do it? Most of them, first of all, is ignorance. Um, they don't truly know the effect of you know, what they're doing, the adverse effect and the damage. Because if they would know, I'm sure they would do better. Right. Um, is there any stigma against babies? I mean, why would anyone want to bleach their child, an infant? There's this cliche of, um, you know, should I say, we as adults, we tend to believe uh, maybe fair babies or light-skinned babies look better than dark-skinned babies. And I also think it comes from the point of self-esteem, you know. So the parents projecting their own low self-esteem on their children and wanting them to look a certain way. Even while they're unborn? Yes, before they're born. Wow, wow, wow. So... um, I'm sure it happens a lot in Africa, but how prevalent is it in Nigeria? It happens because it happens. We see many of such cases. Even after the children are born, um, we get mothers asking, oh, what can I do? My baby is getting dark. What can I use? You know, stuff like that. Wow, wow, (laughs) wow. Okay, so this is very interesting. We have listeners who I'm sure would have an experience with anyone around them who's tried to bleach their babies or maybe women or men who have bleached their child before are bleaching their children. What is wrong with bleaching your child? What is wrong with it? It's so wrong in all aspects because, first of all, um, a baby's skin is so, so different from that of an adult skin. A baby's skin is thinner than that of an adult skin. And you now using products, you know, to further, you know, damage that child's skin, you're weakening the skin condition, you're causing other adverse effects that can even, you know, the re- the repercussion can be at a later age. The growth and development of that child is at hmm. risk, actually. In general. In general. Because so, the melanin production actually helps to protect that baby. And as that baby is born, as they grow older, they produce more melanin to protect them, you know, to even keep them warm, to adjust to the environment, the temperature. Mm-hmm. A mother now buys a product, knowingly or unknowingly, you know, damaging that child's skin. It's, it's really bad. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay, so um, there, there are still lots of questions to ask as to why parents bleach their children. Uh, and now we know that we shouldn't bleach your ch- children. Which, well, we shouldn't bleach children because of the melanin and uh, it might affect the growth of the child. Then what exactly should mothers or fathers use on their children what 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 then are the safe products to use for children um i always advise mothers to go back to nature as much as possible you know we here in africa we've been blessed with nature going back to our african roots we are blessed here with shea butter coconut oil they are found everywhere easy to reach mm-hmm. use them on our children those are the safe products to use for your babies but how can you also, there are some parents who do not believe in organic skincare like shea butter and coconut oil uh, and all that. And they want to buy things off the shelf, imported things or locally made products. However, how can they, what, what are some of the things to look out for when buying all of these 
uh, imported goods or uh, imported creams or body lotions, uh, how can how exactly can they be sure that what they're buying do not contain any ingredients that could be harmful to their children? When parents are buying, they should take proper care and attention in looking at the ingredient listing of whatever they are buying. They should be able to identify at least components of that formulation to truly understand even what's in that product. Hmm. So beyond infants, uh, does this stop? When, when they bleach these children, does this stop after a certain age or they just consistently bleach these children until they get into teenage age? I think they actually consistently bleach these children and... Like I said earlier on, it's starting from the parent's, you know, self-esteem and projecting it on that child and, you know, transferring that to that child so it continues. That child believes, oh, this is me, this is how I want to look, you, you're not this way. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. So what about pediatricians? Do they talk about this enough? Because they do. There are articles everywhere. They, they seriously talk about it. They preach against it. They consistently and continuously talk about it. I don't hear it, though. Honestly, I don't think there's enough uh, sensitization or information around this subject. So when when I heard that we will be talking about this or when I arranged this topic, I was I was very interested because (laughs) I, I I've heard about it, but not a lot of people are preaching against it. I just know some babies mm. are bleached sometimes, but I don't know about pediatricians also talking about the implications of bleaching children. Uh, this is a course that has yes, to be fought it on is. its own. It's it's a very serious thing. It's, it's And it's really deep. It's really deep. It is. But beyond Africa, <laughs> uh, does it happen in other countries as well? A lot of African Majorly countries. here in Africa. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, I, I think we should go to the phone lines to hear from our listeners. You can call in to join the conversation and let us know your thoughts on skin bleaching on children. Do you think there's anything wrong with it? I want to hear your own personal view and uh, we can have a discussion around this subject. If you also have a question as to what should be used on children and how to make sure that your child's skin is smooth as a baby and healthy and glowing mm-hmm. with the best ingredients, of course, you can call in and let's have a conversation about that 0809-191-3913 lagos talks good evening hi hi what's your name lady j lady j let's hear you what do you think about skin bleaching on children hmm. you know i was wondering if it really exists because there are some children that i see like, it would be obvious that they are bleaching but somehow I said okay maybe that's how the color is because mm-hmm. i didn't want to believe so hearing this now shows that it is really happening. Because I know a family that they are all that. The mother is that, father is that. But you see the children looking as in, I'm the, 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 the skin is the way the color is. Hmm. It is obvious that the mother is bleaching them. So I was just wondering, that, oh, is this how it is? Or maybe it's natural. I was just trying to convince myself that maybe that was just their color. But it was obvious that they were bleaching. So hmm. it means it really happened. Apparently and it is scary. Is. It is scary. It is really scary. I don't know why a mother, because it, it, it is definitely the mothers that are doing it, not the fathers, you mm. know, bleaching the children. It is really wrong and damaging to the uh, skin of the uh, children. No children's skin are very, very yes, tender. delicate. Mm. Where they feel that, oh, fair children are fine now, I don't really mm-hmm. know. Black is beautiful. So let's sure. just maintain our black color and be mm. uh, grateful to God. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, join the conversation. The phone lines are 015150913. 1913 You can also call 0809-191-3913 or 0809-222-0913. We're talking about skin bleaching on children how can we learn to love our skin or actually love our baby skin and um, let me just add this before coming to your question and um, a lot of parents they forget that or let me remind them that skin health actually starts from the gut Hmm. it actually starts from what you put into the system and it's only what you put into the system that will come out to reveal that healthy glowing skin so you must first of all ensure that your kids are even having the right proportion of healthy food Hmm. starting from six months you can give um boiled carrots um apples and there are other baby friendly fruits you can start giving children from six months so that's where they're actually forgetting it and wanting to go the quick route Hmm. yeah and they should always forget that healthy skin actually is better than 
a fair skin. As far as your, your baby's skin is healthy, that's all that matters. Not not the tone. Not or... the tone or the color. So how can we learn to appreciate our skin? What is missing? <laughs> um, the education, the sensitization, and also starting to love, you know, the parents loving themselves and passing that on to their children. Mm. Appreciating our African heritage too. Mm. Let's go back to the phone lines. Lagos Talks. Good evening. Good evening. Well, Michel, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Right. Uh, I'm interested in this topic. I just want to ask a question to your guest. Please go ahead. That question is, in those days when we were growing up in the 60s, early 60s, mm-hmm. we used to see children whose parents are not happy, never, never having a light-skinned body Mm-hmm. But you see the children, they come out one in uh, many of our three children, they will come out with very, uh, what I call it a brown color. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like a, a white man that has been turned. Mm. Some of them, we call them albinos. Mm-hmm. But the father is not black, it's not white. The mother is not white. They're both black, black people. What, what, what happens to that? Sometimes okay. it's normal and the gene. It's it's happened. It's normal. Mm. That one, they are not going out to look for any products to make them look fairer or right. change their, you know, bad complexion. Yeah, it's it's normal. It's happened. It's natural. It's natural. So, what? What? what but how does that happen? Would you say uh, it happens maybe from the lineage? They from could, the lineage, then the genes. Maybe the grandmom or the oh, grandpa. Yes. They just stick yeah. take after some things. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So, so uh, like you said, the knowledge gap is there. People yeah. are not aware that it's actually yeah, no. wrong to bleach their children. I already know the effects of bleaching as an adult. Uh, I see a lot of women and men with dark knuckles, elbows. You see people taking photos or videos and sometimes they're embarrassed. They're embarrassed about how dark their knuckles are because mm. people can tell that they've been bleaching. They try to conceal it. Yeah. And even the point is, even even though they bleach, they are still not comfortable. Yeah. They are still not... Uh, That's the self, self-esteem yes, that is lost. It's still lost at that point. So yeah. it, it's, it's just self-esteem issues from the yes. ground up. So whether you bleach or not bleach, you just have to take care of that part. All right. Okay, we missed that call. But uh, it's, it's crazy that as grown adults, we already see people having like their cheeks burnt their side burns and uh, different parts of their body looking of a different color i still do not understand how they go from seeing the effects on adults to taking it out on babies you want to share more with us no. yeah, something. <laughs> no. okay so in closing you're the founder of ama botanicals yes, what is ama botanicals about okay ama botanicals is a natural baby care company inspired by the birth of my premature triplets okay so we produce and sell all natural products for newborns and children of all ages. Children. Also safe for use by the whole family. And it's safe for use by the whole family. Yes. Please. And it's all natural. Is it made in Nigeria here? Made here in Nigeria. Wow. <laughs> so people really do not have to import all of these things. They don't have to because um, I keep saying this. Africa is blessed with abundant natural resources. And that is what we use to manufacture those products. All right. Uh, do you think that there should be some health uh, or, or some level of advocacy, especially from the Ministry of Health, as regards baby bleaching? Yes, there should be because if if the effects are really bad and really high up there, there should be a strong warning against it. But there's none, unfortunately. There is none. Are, are there more people like yourself that are advocating for this change as well? Yes, there are. They don't necessarily have to be in the skincare business to talk about these things. No, they don't. Okay. Yes. All right, we'll have to wrap it up. If you have a question, you can still call in. Maybe we can squeeze in one last call before we go. 0809-234-5913. 0809-191-3913. Or 0809-222-0913. The landline numbers are 01-515-1913. 0-1-5-1-5-0-9-1-3. Let's get talking. All right, Amal Botanicals is mm-hmm. it's a baby skincare line and skin and hair care. Oh, skin and hair yes, care yes. for babies. Yes. But it's, like you said, it can also be used by other members of the family yes, as well. Yes. All right, Lagos Talks. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Michelle. Welcome. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Mr. Paul. I'm calling from uh, Android. All right. Um, All right, Mr. Paul, join the conversation. 
All right. Um, you know, uh, that, that really captured my attention. Of mm. course, um, you know, um, I hate anything that has to do with um, changing the uh, baby's skin pigmentation. Yes. Mm. You know, I, I remember when um, my my son was born, mm. my wife told me, oh, uh, the, the boy is becoming dark. I said, I am dark. You are dark. What do you expect? Wow. You know, some people, some some especially women, hmm. I, I put it. You know, when when my wife told me about it, I I opened my the third eye, like this. I said, don't don't try to even use anything, you know, hmm. the, to change or say, oh, you yeah. want the baby's color to don't try it. And you know, she adhered to it, and then she's using organic uh, stuff like oh. um, ori or yeah. shea butter mm. as well, and um, you know, coconut oil and so on. Yeah, so yeah. with I don't know, this, I, I think that is um, I, I would say that is um lack of confidence of who you are yeah. they want to go in africa hmm. they want to be where you go overnight so hmm. i think uh, that woman there I, I, I would like to patronize her very very wonderful i like her product even though i've not used it by giving thank us you. all these uh, wonderful uh, tips oh thank okay, you i already like her and i like what she's doing all right thank, thank, you. thank you mr paul for calling lagos talks good evening Good evening. Welcome. My name is Mary. I'm calling from VI. Hello, Mary from VI. What are your thoughts on baby skin bleaching? Well, this topic is really interesting. <laughs> Actually, I have this. I've had this encounter. I went to buy um, baby baby cream for mm-hmm. myself. Actually, because I like using baby baby cream okay. so i bought this particular baby cream i use it and i can't believe it I'm, i just noticed that i started changing color i was having these knuckles and i was like wow. ah, this is baby cream now being up did i am i am i not seeing well or something i have to check it very well and i noticed that ah, this cream has some content inside hmm. and unknowingly and ignorantly some parents will go and purchase this cream hmm. and they won't know the side effect of this cream and secondly again I've heard of this. I have this friend uh, that told me that in it, that she, she came from Ibo land, mm-hmm. and she told me that uh, from maybe from their past, I don't know. Mm-hmm. She say um, um, when the mother is is pregnant, sometimes they do take some traditional things that they prepare there, and they take it so that the baby can change color, something wow. like that. So I want to ask. If if they are to take something like maybe traditional, they they prepare it like soup or something to mm-hmm. change the baby colors, something like that. Since it's not um, they are not taking anything like medical, mm. something or pills or something like that. Is it safe? Is it safe? Or that's, something like that. Uh, that's a good question. We'll come back to that. Show. Oh, okay, I think we should take it right now. Mm-hmm. So, uh, she's mentioned two things. Number one, yeah. she she uses baby cream off, that, off the yeah. shelf. And, and she didn't know. She didn't know that there's a yeah. bleaching ingredient in one of them, and she started yeah. having dark knuckles. That and that's why I always we I earlier I emphasized that parents need to pay more attention to what they purchase for their children. Do, would you, do you would you say that the government should put a ban on baby skin bleaching products from coming into the country and stop it from being formulated here in Nigeria as well? Since you understand the risk, yes, it's because it's really high risk. It is high risk that has a long-term effect, not just even the immediate use. It has a long-term effect. Okay. Lagos Talks, good evening. She also mentioned, sorry about that, she also mentioned that uh, in some part of the the country, Mm -hmm. some people actually take some soup. I mentioned that. that Lightened. Yeah, but I thought the one you mentioned was like pills pills and medicines. Uh, but with this one, do you, is it? <laughs> you know, they take all sorts. W- would Would you say the soup that they take for that purpose is safe? I don't know. It may actually not be for lightening. Mm. You get maybe yeah. to make the baby healthy and all of that. Mm. But I, I'm just hearing that for the first time. Me, I only know of pills. I've only heard of pills. Wow. Mm-hmm. Parents are taking pills to bleach children. Lagos Talks, you're our last caller for the day. Good evening. What's your name? My name is Val. Hello, Val. Hello. Talk, Val. talk to me. Uh, yes, yes. I wanted to ask, what about avocado care? Is it, is it for- Very healthy. And your baby can stay, start taking that from six months. Hmm. Yeah. It's good for you skin. Can, you can also mix it. You can consume it. Mm-hmm. Mix it with their milk. Yeah. You know, oh. or, or mix it with their formula or anything. 
you start taking it as early as six months. Does it help for better skin? Yes. So would you ask me to take more avocados? Of course. I took a lot of avocados, <laughs> but now I'm going to take even more of yeah, it. Yeah, it's good for the skin, it's good for the hair, it's good for the growth of new new cells. Wow. <laughs> Avocado, here I come. <laughs> Thank you so much. So Thank what is you, life Michelle. like at Amal Botanicals? Tell us a little bit about Amal oh, Botanicals. Um, are the children loving the products? They are loving the products, oh, that's actually. Good. And that's good. They're loving Amal Botanicals turned five in January. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's thriving. It's thriving. Oh, that's yeah. good. We love that. Thank you Thank so you. much for joining us on the show Thank today. Thank you so much. But those who me. are wondering, who is the lady in the studio? Her name is Zuaira Ikaro Schwab. She is the founder of Ama Botanicals. And apparently, Ama Botanicals turned five in January. Yeah. And they're doing very well to make sure that children use the best and safest skincare products. And as a parent, I advise you to go for the best and stop skin bleaching on children. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you so much, Mitel. You have me. any last words before you go? Um, they should pay more attention. Parents should pay more attention to, you know, what they actually feed their children because skin health starts from the guts. Wow. <laughs> skin hair, uh, baby skin starts from the guts and you have to pay more attention to it. Thank you so much for dropping by today. We do appreciate you. Thank Don't you so much for having me. All right. You heard it all. That is Zuaira and uh, she is, like I said, the founder of Ama Botanicals. Coming up next at the top of the hour is uh, It's Okay with OK. Let's go on a quick music break. We'll be right back to continue the conversation. My name is Michelle Ago and this is Lagos Talks and 91. Point three. Enjoy this music before we go. We are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk.